Hello everyone, today we have the winners of the Visis Project Prizes 2013. On the left side I have uh, Mr. Mukesh Hajela, CEO and uh, Vice Chairman from NICT Indore, India. And on the right side I have Mr. Santiago Amador from the Ministry of ICTs, Colombia. My first question will go to Mr. Mukesh Hajela. How actually this social enterprise NICT was created? And what is the, your advice uh, in order to ensure the proper coordination among stakeholders and particularly governments? Uh, we have created this uh, social organization in the hunt of uh, sustainability for the telecenters, in fact. Uh, the telecenters, or in India we call it common service centers, uh, all are uh, struggling for the sustainability. And uh, what we try to do is to marry the entrepreneurship with this uh, ICT project and if we can do that we can create a model business model enterprise business model which can sustainable and uh, it is in the hunt of the sustainability for these centers we have created this organization in fact uh, my advice to the government is that they should strengthen this information and communication department and every department of the government should have a spoke from ICT department. Mm -hmm. So have to have better communication and coordination. Thank you very much, Mukesh. And my next question will be to Santiago. Will it be possible to provide uh, more information about the project in Niedioma, in my language, and why this project uh, is important for the ministry? Okay. Um, in Colombia, we're, we're a diverse country, so mm -hmm. we have uh, 96 uh, different uh, indigenous communities living there with uh, 65 uh, different languages. Uh, so we are, we are into uh, promote the preservation of the languages in, in Colombia, which is, is very important for us. And we think that ICT, it's a perfect tool to do it. Uh, there those languages are missing mm -hmm. are every day and we we are trying to to put some knowledge and technology uh, in order to preserve the languages so uh, we we be we accompany the, the indigenous communities to make uh, themselves lessons uh, we don't put anthropologists they they do the work mm -hmm. the communities do the work we just accompany them and provide the technological tools to do it they make lessons where we put in digital and then we help them to share mm -hmm. and the breed has mm, three different phases mm -hmm. the first one is is to m build the lessons and to build confidence and trust between the indigenous and the government mm -hmm. to, to, to do it. At the beginning, for example, the platform was so close, the indigenous asked uh, us to, to close the platform, but th then, but now they, they want to share th that knowledge even in, in commercial platform, platform like YouTube. Mm -hmm. The second phase is, is we did um, a big Latin American but but mostly Colombian indigenous and Afro-Colombian forum mm -hmm. uh, to discuss what to communicate if the community if the communication are important in that communities and they say yes and they make an agreements and and we start to to teach or accompany uh, the the communities to encourage to produce digital content, not not a closed lessons like uh, at the beginning, but digital content in every platforms, mm -hmm. even using cell phone or something. Um, <coughs> and the the third uh, phase is is uh, we are gonna build twelve a uh, a product a uh, no production content laboratories. Mm -hmm. Uh, which al allows uh, the communities to produce ev a any time and to edit some content, but w we don't want to make a a TV set okay. uh, with big cameras. J just uh, uh, a few devices and methodology to to produce a lot with even with cell phones on uh, small cameras and produce uh, s uh, sounds and and videos. 
this is the the third phase which mm -hmm. is very ambitious and um i think i have to uh, say thanks to wishes and to Thank this you. prize because when they know in the, in the government they even inside the government i work for the government even mm -hmm. inside the government you have to convince the 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 other policy makers to put money and to believe okay. in that kind of project and i think which is, uh, was a very very important um uh, platform mm -hmm. uh, to get more money and to get confidence uh, uh, from the government to continue doing that project. thank you very much and actually it will be my uh, next question what does it mean for you to win this prize it's a success of all the grassroots social entrepreneurs uh, the change agents what they are working at a grassroots they are doing tremendous work and uh, I accept this award on behalf of them only. This award is dedicated to them. They are the grassroots level people, those who are really bringing change for the community, for the people living there in far-flung villages. Uh, they are doing their business, they are earning their employment, as well as they are doing public good. So this is, I feel this award is a success and a celebration for all those people, those who are working at a grassroots level and dedicated to them. Thank you very much, Mukesh. It's very nice to know this. And uh, Santiago, do you want to add something? Yeah, um, we, we are we are implementing uh, a, a big and ambitious plan of technology in Colombia, which mm -hmm. name is Vive Digital, Live mm -hmm. Digitally. Uh, there has uh, a lot of initiatives and projects, like kind of 92. Mm -hmm. We are connecting, uh, really connecting the country we were just um, to a uh, twenty percent of the municipalities connected to to broadband and to fiber optics, mm -hmm. and now we are going to pass to ninety six percent of of the country connecting to the fiber optics, and we are uh, doing some uh, many changes, uh, mostly for the base of the pyramid for w one, two, and three uh, economic strata, mm -hmm. which is the eighty eight percent of co of Colombians. So w we are making a revolution, but the revolution cannot be just for for the um, for the urban people or for the rich people. Mm -hmm. We are trying to put the internet service of of I, I don't want to say poor people, but with the people for the one and two and oh three well strata mm -hmm. for the base of the pyramid. And this project, I it's a, a clearly message that technology is for for all. Uh, with indigenous people and and Afro American people who lives in Colombia, we have to build confidence. It, it's kind of slow. Th this process starts a, f a few years ago because you have to. Uh, at the beginning, they say they don't want to be in touch with technology. They say this is uh, gonna destroy the culture, but in particular, internet is not destroying the culture. Maybe the mass media try to destroy the culture because. They they make they they want to all, all of us to be the same, but internet is based on, on a, an economic model which name is niche cultures. Uh, uh, the internet is is based on on di uh, on difference of other people, and an internet can attend every need of, of the people, every niche need. So the indigenous, I think that they are understanding that that the internet it's a it's a huge tool and now they ask f f uh, for the government to the pol uh, communication public policy mm -hmm. for indigenous and we are working on that and and this project it's a part of, of, of a big policy and and I think the, the basis the pillars of, of the confidence are already building mm -hmm. so um, we, we are trying to to move on and this price is it, so, um, I don't know how to say it, but it came in the right moment. Okay. Because we, we, are, go we, are, we are trying to, to do the next step. The next step is, is uh, encourage indigenous to produce a lot of content, not, not just a few, but a lot of content, and use technology in everyday life and share the knowledge and participate in the, in the knowledge uh, society. Um, sharing her beliefs, her, uh, th their beliefs and their recipes and their 
concerns and their claims, everything. And I think and I hope that next year when I came here again, uh, because I'm, uh, which is yeah. fun. Um, when I come here, when I come here uh, again next year, um, I, I, I think uh, the indigenous are, are more, more, pro more empowered, more empowered, and producing a lot of content in all kinds of platforms. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Santiago. Thank you very much, Mukherjee. Thank you.